wish to end law enforcement practices like this in this video. In a few hours, an organization will hand deliver a petition to city leaders. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live in downtown. And Mimi, the police department taking a strong stance on this issue. Yeah, Kalina, Jason, the police department say they do not use the chokehold to begin with. Instead, they use the carotid restraint, which they say is very different and less dangerous. Regardless, though, this group wants a ban on any type of neck restraints and will be taking their petition to the mayor this afternoon. It's a, it's a barbaric practice that ends up getting many more people arrested, hurt, choked, and violated. The Racial Justice Coalition urged people to sign their petition back in April. Today, the group says they've collected more than 30,000 signatures asking for a complete ban on neck restraints and chokeholds. But police tell us although the two may look very similar, the carotid restraint is very different from a chokehold and they do not use chokeholds. In this cell phone video, though, Robert Branch is placed in a carotid restraint by an off-duty sheriff's detective. Police are currently allowed to use that same technique, which is why the Racial Justice Coalition is calling for a ban. A chokehold cuts off a person's air supply and can be deadly. The carotid restraint in cut, instead cuts off the blood flow, which can knock a person unconscious, but is considered less dangerous. Now, in past meetings, police have said taking away that technique from an officer could lead to different higher uses of force. This, um, t later on, in just a few hours at 11 a.m., this group will hold a press conference, and then after that, they will take their petition up to the mayor at noon. We're live downtown. Mimi Alcala, 10 News.